motherfucking ketosis and shit. enough to write me and ask, well, ask me why I even give a shit about being in ketosis. And they sent me a, a link to a BBC special that basically jammed two fingers into Dr. Atkins' asshole. Basically, the gist of the documentary is that the Atkins diet, the only reason it works is because you eat less calories when you, even though it says you can eat whatever the fuck you want, you can only pound so much fucking protein and, and fucking fat to, you know, before you get full. And they say that being in ketosis, basically you burn, they did some kind of fucking study where they put one motherfucker in one room and another motherfucker in another room and they said hey motherfucker you can eat a low calorie diet and hey motherfucker you eat the Atkins diet and they checked all their blood levels and shit and apparently they checked their oxygen that they're consuming in the fucking room and the motherfucker on the Atkins diet only burned 22 more calories from being in ketosis than the motherfucker who was just on the low cal shit. So, well, that's fucking great, but that's not why I like being in ketosis. The reason I like being in ketosis, strong ketosis particularly, is because it tells me that my liver and my muscles are likely depleted of most of their glycogen. And which means you, you know, the average motherfucker stores 2,000 calories of glycogen. And I like carbs, as you know. I, I'm a big fucking Pop-Tart fanatic and, you know, pretty much any other fucking refined poisonous death to myself carbs that I like to eat. If my glycogen stores are full and I eat that shit, chances are it's going right into my ass. You know, it, it, it's fat. Whereas when I sit down to eat, if I'm in ketosis, most likely, I'm going to be storing most of the carbs I eat back into my liver and not my fat ass. You see, you have two fucking tanks that you store energy in. One is your ass, or your fat. The other is your liver and muscles in the form of glycogen. Um, as far as protein, if you eat too much protein, your body will go into gluconeo-fucking-genesis and convert that shit into glycogen and back into your fat ass or your motherfucking liver and muscles. So, the principle behind the protocol I've been following on and off, um, we'll get into the off part in a minute because I did take some time away from going into ketosis every other day, but what I found is I was able to consistently, but very slowly, lose weight in that respect. Um, by basically eating a ketogenic diet as on the every other day diet protocol. So, like, one day I'd eat what the fuck I want to eat without restriction other than calories, keeping my in maintenance realm. And then on the other days, eat five to six hundred calories of completely no carb. And for some reason, and I haven't figured it out, when you eat ketogenically, that small meal ketogenically, it springboards you into ketosis quicker than if you just fasted. As in, you did a 36-hour fast versus you had your 600 calories and it was ketogenic, fat, protein, with a little bit of greens, you know, salad, you know, 
no no more than five to ten grams of carbs you know 25 grams max I, I think I maxed out and still accomplished uh, moderate ketosis by the end of the 36 hour period so I don't know why but if you want to get into ketosis quicker it turns out fucking Atkins before he dropped dead of whatever the hell he dropped dead of but it turns out that eating ketogenically makes you get into ketosis quicker and then you stay that way so once you've digested the ketogenic meal which will probably be out three hours you'll keep you'll still be in fat burning mode it, it seems and you remain in ketosis throughout the night and until you break your fast the next day eating normal and then when you break your fast you're in moderate to strong ketosis usually and then all the carbs and shit that you eat goes into your liver and muscles not into your fat ass you will gain water weight and lose water weight accordingly um, as always you know when you're playing with your carbs you're going to be playing with water weight for example, I'm in the middle of a 72-hour fast right now to make up for my little vacation. And uh, I've lost all my water weight. Like, I lost literally, like, six pounds in a day. And that means getting up three or four times a night to piss. But that's, you know, this is my second 72-hour fast I've done. And it's going pretty smooth, despite eating like a motherfucker the past couple weeks. So, why did I eat like a motherfucker the past couple weeks? Because I've gone back to the gym and started strength training. So, you know, I'm you know, not really building a whole lot of muscle. It's kind of flat right now being that I'm fasted. But uh, I did gain five pounds in strength over a two-week period. Um, as in, you know, I could lift five more motherfucking pounds than I did the week before. So, but I was significantly weaker from the last time I used to go to the gym to do resistance training. So I've been kind of bulking the past couple weeks and gaining about a pound to a pound and a half to two pounds of fat slash muscle in that time period. I don't know what how much of which is which, but that brings me to I was getting creeping up closer. I was like to 197, 198, and when I got to 198, I was like, no. Nah. So here I am doing a fucking 72-hour fast. And in the middle of my 72-hour fast, I'm down to 193.6. Um, you know, I touched 189 at one point by doing the every other day diet with ketogenic as my 600-calorie meal. So, and I can go back to that when I'm done working out, when I stop resistance training, which will happen. After a while, I will take a break from bulking and go back to a leaning and cutting phase. But right now, it's getting colder out. Seems like a good time to hit the gym and try and, you know, get some muscle back, some weight back. So I'm not really concerned about my scale numbers right now because I am bulking. You know, eating about three to five hundred extra calories. I'm doing. I'm still fasting. I'm doing eight out eight hour eating window, sixteen hour fast. You know, sixteen and eight lean gains, pretty much. But I'm pretty liberal on what I eat. I, you know, I don't eat clean. Fuck that. I'm dirty bulking. Shit. I get some fat with my muscle, and then I'll go back and lose the fat. And I think I will lose the fat faster than I will lose muscle if I do that. So if I go back and forth, theoretically. I should put more lean mass on and keep the fat off. So anyway, that's my fucking plan. I'd like to thank all of you for subscribing to me and, you know, and I, and I just had to get that off my chest about ketosis. So uh, remember, I'm not a fucking expert. I'm just a fucking asshole. Have a nice fucking day.